Hi there. In Loams, you have the flexibility to integrate multiple data sources into your discussion seamlessly. To get started, navigate to the settings page and head over to data management settings. Here, you'll find an option to add a new data source. Simply select a path to a local or network folder, give your database a name, and confirm your selection. Once you've added the data source, Loams will automatically take care of vectorizing all text-based files within the selected folder. These files will then be imported into a new SQLite database, which will be stored in the same folder. This feature allows you to share databases effortlessly between multiple Loams users. When another user points their Loams instance to the same folder, they'll have access to the same data as you. It's important to ensure that both users are utilizing the same vectorizer, which by default is the BERT vectorizer. If different vectorizers are used, Loams will re-vectorize the database each time it loads, which can be time-consuming. You can create and manage as many data sources as you need. These data sources can be loaded and even mixed within your discussions. Unlike the classic Loams RAG, this system is designed to be cross-platform and cross-discussion, providing a more versatile and integrated experience. Don't forget to apply the changes. Once you've done that, navigate to the Discussions page where you'll notice a new blue icon resembling a book. Clicking on this icon will bring up a menu displaying your selected data sources. By default, these data sources are not mounted. To mount them, simply click on the desired data sources. You can even mount multiple data sources if needed. You can verify that a database is mounted by looking for the checkmark next to each mounted database in the list. This visual confirmation ensures that the data source is active and ready for use. Now, you're all set to ask the AI questions. You can even request information about the source files that were used to generate the responses. This feature provides transparency and allows you to trace back the information to its original source. Please note that this feature is still in its alpha stage, so I am counting on you to report any bugs you may encounter in the Discord channel or on GitHub. Thanks for watching, see ya!